right here we are in a beautiful Fallbrook California morning looking at a really sweet I'd call this one a traditional hot rod bad to the bone this one here we're gonna walk around and tell you what we know about it like we always do beautiful 1934 Ford five window coupe nicely done when I talk about traditional hot rod we got a lot of surprises as we walk around here beautiful all steel body these bodies are getting hard to find this particular gentleman owns, has owned this car about 25 years. Over the years, he's done a lot of modifications to it to make it his, but it's a beautiful Henry body. He's had the body off the chassis to reinforce it for what we're going to share with you about what's underneath the hood here. The only thing that's been modified on the body is the, uh, the roof's been filled. It has not been chopped. Beautiful black finish with uh, traditional old school style flames coming off the nose. Doors have not been modified, the fenders haven't been modified, the rear splash pan has been modified a little bit, and we'll get around to that as we walk around and talk about it. The doors shut very nice, the drip rails here, other than the roof fill, have been uh, smoothed over here. Very, very, very nice. Give you a little peek in there, but we're going to come back around to the driver's side and just share it with you. The rear window still rolls down, the front window still cranks out. I like how they blacked out the uh, windshield trim rather than be chrome. Still has the cal vent in the front here. Underneath the hood, the hood comes off very nice, very easy on these 34s. You can take the whole hood off. We actually did uh, a portion video with it running with the hood off so you could hear it run and you'll catch that in the video clip here. We put the hood back on for the photo shoot for you to take a good look at it. Underneath the hood is a 543 cubic inch. GM big block, very nicely done and has Hillborn style fuel injection that's highly controlled. Has a turbo 400 automatic transmission. Curry 9 inch rear differential with uh, 308 ratio. He can take this down the highway at, uh, at the greatest of ease at 80 miles an hour and is barely tacking 3100. So it likes to go down the highway. He set it up to do that. We'll give you a peek of the undercarriage there. We're actually going to cover that for you like we usually do. Absolutely no overheat issues on this car. Just a gas of a car to drive. It's quite the sleeper when I look at it here. Beautiful morning to do this. It just has that good traditional hot rod feel. Fun car to drive. No excuses. It has Eric Vaughn wheels on it. They're really rare kidney bean style wheels. They are a faux knockoff style in other words the the spinner comes off and then the lug nuts are behind that cap right there Jenny look and feel beautiful grill on it the bumpers all the brackets have been smoothed and powder coated prior to putting the bumpers back on the chins nice on it you could pick it for a little spot here the hood on and off a little kind of chip there but no big deal find a miscellaneous flaw with any car um, just like to point out the ones that stick out to me just a little bit. That's an easy fix if somebody wanted to do it. Standing up on some rocks here. Flame slow all the way back to the doors. Has uh, When we get inside here, we gave you a little peek at the interior. Again, all Jenny steel car fenders, rear fenders have all been rhino coated so that, or uh, lizard skinned is what you'd call it, so that rock stars don't appear. Inside, recently, in about uh, three years or so ago, he put a uh, Ron Mangus leather interior on it. You can always tell a Ron Mangus interior. The fit is always nice. String tight, so to speak. Stitching's very nice. All the windows cranking up and down like they're supposed to. Very nice. Doors shut nice on this car. You'll see it has a tint to it there. Has uh, seat belts in it. I'd put those on. It's a lot of fun car to drive. Don't be afraid to drive it. He drives it. Takes it down to Escondido, Escondido Grand Boulevard and always gets lots of looks. Suede leather headliner on it. Also, when you fill the top here, it gives you more headroom. So this car's got great headroom. The rear deck has some uh, audio speakers here and there's audio in the glove box with a remote. All the garnish moldings have been done in it. Step over here and kind of give you a feel. Sorry for the uh, river rock noise. Again, the dash finish, all the full woodwork is beautiful. Low car style shifter, turbo 400 automatic. Tilt steering column. We'll get over to the driver's side and share it here with you. Doors shut nice. A 
make my way to the back here and share the back with you. It's a trunk model. Very nicely done. We'll actually uh, cover the trunk for you like we always do in the video. You'll see it's a black body. You can see the stones in the side of the body here. Kind of give you an idea how straight it is. 34s, 3s, and 4s are getting really tough to find. I like the fit of the wheels. He's got it dropped down enough where the wheel wells fill out nice. Rear light, tail light stanches looks like they've been shortened a little bit. Brody is for the heads that are on the car. They're special reworked uh, Brodix head cylinder heads on it. 543 cubic inches like we talked about. 718 horsepower and I don't think he's ever used it all except for on the dyno. Hillborn fuel injection. A nice look there, doesn't it? Beautiful morning just here in the birds chirp. Let me step back and let you take a peek here. Wow. Fun doing cars like this. Not a cookie cutter car, that's for sure. Nice 34 body. Again, Ron Mangus leather interior. Nicely done, very high end carpet in it. Has uh, Willwood four wheel disc brakes with electric assist. I forgot to mention that as I was walking around here. Gonna back my way in here. Beautiful dash. Cigar lighter, vintage cigar lighter. Gauges, the car's got 4,529 miles on the odometer since he kind of reworked it, but the engine's been updated since then. It's got about 1,500 miles on it when the body was lifted off and reworked the chassis. Front suspension on it, I forgot to mention, is a dropped axle, very traditional with hairpins. We'll get around to that. Banjo style steering wheel, tilt column. Really fit nice in here for your big guy. I'm a big guy. The owner's a pretty tall guy. Little map pockets down in each corner so you can put your registration. Alpine audio system right there. Windshield cranks out like I talked about. Rear window comes down. Anyway, I'm going to hop out. Let's take a peek. Hard to get out of those with this camera in the hand. Pardon the shake there. Make sure you go to spudsgarage.com. We'll have a video of this running and you'll be able to hear it run throughout the video. Thanks for listening to me. Have a great day. Get in. Alright, we'll get you underneath the hood here. You heard it run here. Anyway, uh, underneath the hood, you'd never believe this fits underneath the hood. Very, very nice. Uh, and it does run cool, so let's start out telling you that. It's got a GM performance block in it. It's 543 cubic inches. has a manly crank, pro stock forged rods in it. Uh, Mylodon uh, gear drive in the front cam camshaft here. It is a hydraulic roller camshaft in it. The Brodix heads have been completely reworked, aluminum heads on it. The exhaust on it is done by Fabtech all the way from the headers back. It's two and, a, two and an eighth inch headers here that are custom built for this car. Aircraft style connectors, you can see them down there. We get to the undercarriage, you'll see the same level of de detail. Again, Hillborn fuel injection that's Holly controlled. We talked about that on the walk around. Uh, custom radiator in it and he's actually done some neat work over on the other side we'll cover that for you here but here's a fuel pressure regulator here get up here and kind of give you a peek through the front of the grill finned aluminum valve covers polished got it does have that traditional hot rod style to it and most people looking at this car never think that it has 700 and 18 horsepower underneath the hood 700 over 750 foot-pounds of torque 
308 rear ra axle ratio so it'll get on the highway and it'll go without spinning in a circle from a stop sign so it's kind of neat this is a they actually wanted to slow down the water in this radiator so it would cool better so this is a custom built water circulates through here and it slows it down just enough to where it gets cooled properly it also has backup if you get in heavy heavy traffic uh, dual cooling fans up front here that'll allow you to you know kick them on for extra security really doesn't need it um, it has a uh, hydraulic assist four wheel wheel disc brakes on it turbo 400 automatic transmission moon equipped breather here again just a cool hot rod feel the exhaust is three inch all the way to the back we think you get the idea definitely hang on to the end of the video have a great day and thanks for listening to me all right we'll get you in the trunk here and share the trunk like we always do we cover every square inch nicely done ron mangus interior he follows the same level of quality front to back when he does an interior Nicely fitted carpet. This is the floors raised a little bit to accept the differential sitting down low with a nine inch in the back. All steel. This deck lid's really heavy. Batteries located in the trunk here. Anyway, bottom side of the deck lid is also finished in the same grade, a high grade of carpet. There you go. Go to spudsgarage.com. Hang on for more. Have a great day. All right, we're going to take you to the undercarriage on it. Very nicely done, uh, top to bottom. The, the owner, who's owned this 25 years, took the body off the chassis and had the entire 34 rails all boxed, reworked, and then the body was put back on. Has a forged dropped axle, all SoCal stuff. Has uh, Willwood disc brakes, the SoCal style of polished backing plates on the front. It has a mono leaf front spring. It's got a nice ride to it. Uh, gas, chrome gas shocks. It does have hydraulic assist on the brakes. Eric Vaughn kidney bean style wheels with faux knockoffs. Again, traditional style and a hairpin. So hairpin dropped axle on the front. Very nice. We'll actually have some pictures that the owner took. I don't have a lift today uh, to cover some of the undercarriage that he's gonna send us and we'll have those at Spud's Garage. This is gonna give you a really good feel of the car absolutely no excuses custom exhaust it's all been ceramic coated aircraft style fittings mandrel bent just beautiful michelin radials on it 225 70 r15s in the rear they fit perfectly the exhaust you'll see kind of get a feel for the quality of the exhaust there has a enlarged fuel tank on it it's at least 15 gallons could be a little bit more i think uh, traditional four bar rear suspension with adjustable coilovers, pan hard bar, Curry 9 inch rear differential, 308 ratio. Take a spin in this baby. Put a grin ear to ear. See the four bar. Anyway, thanks for listening to me. Hang on for just a small clip at the end here. Have a great day. All right, he's taking it back to his garage. Could be going to your garage. Make sure you go to Spud's garage. Have a great day. Dig my gig. Thanks for listening to the end of the video.